Number 1. Daisenryo Ancient Tomb. The first attraction you should see in Sakai as recommended by TripAdvisor is the Daisenryo Ancient Tomb. It is a keyhole shape and the largest tomb in Japan. You can spend an enjoyable hour walking around the entire tomb. Number 2. Hamadera Park. The most beautiful park in Sakai is Hamadera Park. This park is pet friendly and has a pine forest within. It is great for playtime and it spreads to the waterfront. Spread out and enjoy the greenery. Number 3. Sakai City Hall Observatory Flower. For an epic city view, head to the Sakai City Hall Observatory Flower. It is the tallest building in Sakai and you can get to the top floor for a 360 degree view of the city. You can see all of Sakai stretching out to more of Osaka and a view of the Daisenryu ancient tomb from above. Number 4. Oizumi Raikuchi. Oizumi Raikuchi is another main park in Sakai. Here, you will find ginkgo forests, a skate park, and a playground for children. The designated barbecue areas are great for socializing and getting people together. Number 5. Dyson Park. Dyson Park is the third major park in Sakai. It is home to the Sakai Festival and located near many other major attractions. The flower garden at Dyson Park is so immaculate, that portion requires an entry fee. There is a lake to enjoy when you want to rest in peace. Number 6. Sakai City Museum. This is a statue of Sen no Rikyu which stands in front of Sakai City Museum. Sen no Rikyu, 1522-1591, was a tea master who served Adan Nobunaga and Toyotomi Hideyoshi. He played an important role in establishing the tradition of Wabi Cha tea ceremony style which continues to this day. Riki was a merchant of Sakai that started to serve as the head of tea ceremonies for Nobunaga around the time that Nobunaga put Sakai under his direct control. Number 7. Alphonse Mucha Museum. The Alphonse Mucha Museum offers a more vibrant and exotic feel in its exhibits. Much of the work is of the famous artist, Alphonse Mucha. This museum actually has a lot of colors, which is different and the displays are eye-popping. Number 8. Ibaraji Temple. Ibaraji, just five minutes from the house by bike, can't believe I'd never been before, loads of people milling around today on the coming of age public holiday, this place is dedicated to those people taking exams so we will all be coming back here for the boy towards the end of the year, he might need a bit more than just a temple visit to ensure success. Number 9. Ario Otori. Ario Otori holds many different things for the visitor to experience. It is a five-story building which has 150 stores and a cinema. You can find anything you need here, food, clothing, electronics, and more. Oats of people milling around today on the coming of age public holiday, this place is dedicated to those people taking exams, who will all be coming back here for the boy towards the end of the year, he might need a bit more than just a temple visit to ensure success. Number 10. Harvest Hill. If you are looking to charm someone, including yourself, head to Harvest Hill. It is a park which will get you active if you like. You can choose from golfing, archery, go-karting, or people watching. If you want to spend your day low-key, find a quiet spot by the flowers away from the activities. It was built many years ago and it is rare to find others who hold the old form as this one does. Rent a bike and ride on over. Waterfront views at night or sunset are the best. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.